As Christians, we believe the marriage between one man and one woman is honorable. Marriage is a lifetime vocation for a man and a woman to join together in holy matrimony, to bring children into this world and teach them morals, respect, right and wrong. Because we want to preserve the traditional form of marriage does not mean that we are a bad person. We have an obligation to object whenever our legislator enacts a law that is morally wrong. There is no in-between, no neutral ground. It is morally right or it is wrong, good or evil, true or false, pleasing to God or sin. Not since the foundation of all of history and mankind have we ever heard of man marrying man. It's always been one man, one woman, one God, one belief. Now they want to change it. Why? Why do we need to be remaking America and the Constitution in the old American traditions? There's no need for that. Civil unions, they got what they want. Now they want to tamper with the family. What are we going to teach our children? Now little boys are going to learn that it's okay to have a father and a father. In the Ten Commandments it says, honor thy mother, honor thy father. It doesn't say honor thy father and honor thy father. Two wrongs don't make a right. Two left feet don't work. From the beginning, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth and he said he made a male and female. One man, one woman, one God. This is why we're fighting. The whole fabric of America rests on family. And there's only one family since the beginning of time. That's a mother, a father, and children. Don't redefine it. Let's get the vote out. Is there not a cause? Let's get yes on one. And let's ask God to help us. And let's give America back to God. Thank you.